Right now, leaders and civilians in Ukraine are taking up arms to protect the capital city of Kiev as Russian forces threaten to overthrow the government. Also a historic decision, President Biden chooses his nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court, the first black woman to be nominated for the position. And a mother shares her pain as the search continues for the suspect in a deadly shooting outside of Beloit High School. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Countries around the world are looking to heap more financial punishment on Russia in addition to previous sanctions. President Biden and the European Union plan to freeze the assets of Russian President Vladimir Putin and the country's foreign minister. Right now, heavily armed Russian troops continue to close in on Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, in what many are calling an attempt to overthrow the Ukrainian government. And the Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S. says Russian forces continue to target civilians. U.S. leaders worry the city of Kyiv could fall within days. Ukraine's president says he and the people of Ukraine will continue to fight the invasion. And Ukrainian leaders are now asking citizens to take up arms and help defend their country. Chris Wen has the latest. Tension and fear mounting in Ukraine. The capital city of Kyiv lit up overnight. This bridge leading from Russian-held Crimea into the main part of Ukraine is where President Volodymyr Zelensky says the most intense fighting took place and where his army was able to push back Russian troops. Residents across the country fleeing for their lives. We don't know what's going to happen here next. I think the best thing right now is to be safe. It's, it's not be here. Just Ukrainian leaders, including former President Petro Poroshenko, encouraging those staying to take up arms to defend their country. We are standing in line for their weapons. We are standing in line to give our blood to the our uh, soldiers. Even as air raid sirens wailed, Russia continued its propaganda campaign, claiming its troops are there on a peacekeeping mission. Nobody is going to attack the people of Ukraine. Nobody is going to somehow degrade the Ukrainian armed forces. We are talking about preventing neo-Nazis and those promoting genocide from ruling this country. Zelensky says the latest U.S. sanctions against Moscow aren't enough. This morning we are defending our country alone. Just like yesterday, the most powerful country in the world looked on from a distance. Russia was hit with sanctions yesterday, but these are not enough to get these foreign troops off our soil. Only through solidarity and determination can this be achieved. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn. U.S. officials and members of Congress fear if Putin succeeds in Ukraine, he may turn his sights on other former Soviet countries. NATO says its response force is on standby if that happens. President Biden has insisted U.S. troops will not go to Ukraine and will only deploy to Eastern Europe in support of NATO nations nervous about the attacks. There are growing fears the conflict in Ukraine will lead to another refugee crisis in Europe. The U.N. estimates more than 100,000 people have already left their homes as many try to find safety across Ukraine's borders. With Lines of cars stretching for miles. Many are fleeing on foot instead. Authorities say at least 29,000 Ukrainians have crossed the border into Poland. Gunshots were heard at a Kyiv train station today as crowds gathered to flee the city. I have a five-year-old kid and I have also my sister who has two kids. So we are really scared and don't know what will happen here. Volunteers have set up stations along the Romanian border to hand out hot drinks, bottled water, and food to people coming from Ukraine. There is a lot going on in Ukraine right now with new information coming in constantly. And it is updated in a special section at channel3000.com. You can find that section right on our homepage there. Just scroll down to Crisis in Ukraine. You'll also find a page with information on how you can help the people of Ukraine. To weather now, let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Meteorologist Dana Fultz is on the weather patio. Dana? We woke up this morning to a nice little fresh blanket of snow on the ground. Some folks a little more than others, but for the majority of southern Wisconsin, it was a nice little addition again to, to what was starting to become a bit bare outside. Our Doppler track generally quiet through the afternoon. Much of this really stopped early in the day. Steady snowfall led to uh, about an inch and a half to three inches of accumulation for most of southern Wisconsin. Some areas northwest of Dane County picking up more of the three to five inch total. So our snow depth right now, at least in the Dane County area, about three to six inches for us. Overall snow accumulations out here on the patio. We're at about three and a half inches. McFarland close to three inches. The same 
goes for Janesville and Platteville, Viroqua at about two and a half down Milwaukee, about six inches of accumulation for us with a system coming through. The rest of the 10 day looks mostly dry. We'll make it through a sunny weekend with comfortable temperatures for both Saturday and Sunday. And again, most of next week playing on sunshine. It's not until the end of the week that we have some rain creeping back into the forecast. Right now, it really looks more like rain showers rather than more snow building back in for the start of March. We'll take a closer look at that full 10 day in just a few minutes. Dana, thank you. There is pain every single day for a woman in Beloit who lost her son just four weeks ago. 19 year old Jayon Broomfield was shot and killed outside Beloit Memorial High School. That was on January 29th. Today, his mother told our Brad Hamilton she is having a tough time comprehending a lot about that night and the days that followed. Brad, what else can you share? Susan and Eric, Teresa Jackson says the past month has been the hardest of her life and her life has changed forever. Boy, police say that Jayon Broomfield was shot after a fight that broke out in the parking lot after a basketball game. Broomfield was a former student at Boyd Memorial, was shot in the leg and then rushed to the hospital, but he sadly did not make it. His mother says she still can't believe he is gone and is now focused on getting justice. Torn, like I'm crushed. Like I told my kids, I don't sleep. I do not sleep because I think about him all the time. Because he did not deserve this. Like this is ridiculous. And all I ask is him to turn himself in, so we can just receive whatever and let and let the justice department do their job. The suspect in this case, Amari Goodall, is still on the run, according to police. Jackson has said that she appreciates everyone who has helped in this investigation, especially Beloit PD and witnesses who have come forward. And coming up at 6, we're going to hear more from Jion's family. Brad, thank you. We'll see you at 6. Madison police say they found guns, ammunition, cash, and drugs during a search warrant on a home on the city's west side. Officers were serving a search warrant as part of a weapons, off uh, a weapons offense investigation investigation at a home in the 8300 block of Black Wolf Drive yesterday. Police say they found three guns, a large amount of ammunition, as well as cash and drugs. Two people were detained and charges are pending. Police say the investigation is ongoing. President Biden has chosen Federal Appeals Court Judge Katanji Brown Jackson as his nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court. Skylar Henry has more as it marks the first time a black woman has been ever been nominated nominated in the court's 233 year existence. President Biden made history as he introduced his Good Supreme afternoon. Court nominee, Judge Kentanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman chosen to serve on the nation's highest court. She strives to be fair, to get it right, to do justice. The 51 year old appeals court judge is a Harvard Law School graduate who is a law clerk for Justice Stephen Breyer, the man she will now replace if confirmed. I can only hope that my life and career, my love of this country and the Constitution, and my commitment to upholding the rule of law and the sacred principles upon which this great nation was founded will inspire future generations of Americans. The announcement comes exactly two years after then-candidate Biden made a promise to nominate a black woman. I believe it's time that we have a court reflects the full talents and greatness of our nation. Judge Jackson's experience as a former public defender would also be a first for the Supreme Court. It's experience that both she and President Biden have in common in their lengthy law careers. We've seen a lot of folks who served as public defenders and civil rights lawyers be elevated under this administration because there have been far too few of uh, folks with that sort of experience. Judge Jackson is familiar with the confirmation process, having gone through it last year when she was nominated to the district court. This time around, the stakes are higher, with the reward of attaining a seat on the Supreme Court. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Judge Jackson won the support of three Republican senators during her last confirmation process. If she doesn't receive bipartisan support this time, she can still be confirmed with all 50 Democratic votes and Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote. Jefferson County is offering N95 masks to residents tonight and tomorrow. That county health department is giving away free masks from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Each family will receive a pack of 10 N95 masks. To get them, stop by the southern entrance of the Jefferson County Fair Park and drive around to the north side of the activity center. The number of new COVID-19 infections has dropped 65% now in the past two weeks. And now the Biden administration says most Americans can 
and start leaving those masks at home. CDC says it's switching to a new metric to determine when face masks are recommended in indoor public settings, dependent on COVID-19 case counts, hospitalizations, and also hospital capacity. The most recent guidelines recommended masking for roughly 95% of the country with this new policy. It's now closer to 30%. Uh, you get to a point where the likelihood of someone uh, having COVID, spreading COVID in an indoor space, you know, gets so low that the, you know, whatever hassle you want to attach to, ma to mask wearing um, probably doesn't uh, decrease transmission that much because there's, there's nothing to, to transmit in those spaces. The administration's newest roadmap says COVID-19 is here to stay, but may join the ranks of other viruses like the seasonal flu. And just about everyone is looking forward to a world without mask mandates. For many, after two years, it's going to take some getting used to. Naomi Ruckham has the story and how people are reacting. Looking ahead to the next normal, the Biden administration is loosening mask wearing guidelines for most Americans. We're in a stronger place today as a nation with more tools to protect ourselves and our communities from COVID-19. The CDC says it's switching to a new metric to determine when face masks are recommended in indoor public settings, depending on COVID-19 case counts, hospitalizations, and hospital capacity. The most recent guidelines recommended masking for roughly 95% of the country. With the new policy, it's now closer to 30% in areas with a potentially high burden on healthcare systems. Even though most Americans will now be able to shed their masks, here in New York, that might take some getting used to. I've got my mask with me and I'm gonna be wearing it in the grocery store and going to the museum. I think it just kind of depends on the place and the amount of people um, and, you know, how safe I feel in that environment. The shift comes as a new Lancet study confronts the tragic toll of the pandemic. More than 5 million children worldwide have lost a parent or caregiver to the virus, which explains why this Los Angeles restaurant owner plans to keep masking. I have a young one at home. My chef is having twins on the way, so we want to protect ourselves as much as humanly possible. The administration's newest roadmap says COVID-19 is here to stay, but may join the ranks of other viruses, like the seasonal flu, continuing to threaten lives, but without throwing the nation into crisis. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. The CDC says more than 70% of U.S. counties have either low or medium COVID activity, and that means that masks are not recommended indoors. Only Greene County, in our viewing area, shows high activity, according to the CDC website, where masks are recommended indoors. Tomorrow marks 10 years since Trayvon Martin was shot and killed in Florida by a man who claimed the unarmed teenager was, quote, acting suspiciously. That shooting was seen as a turning point for how Americans confront the deaths of young black men and women, and it started a movement of powerful mothers fighting for change. Ten years later, Trayvon's mother, Sabrina Fulton, says time has not healed her wounds. When you lose a child, that's a, that's a tragedy for you, you know? It's long time healing, it's long time grieving, and you just can't imagine just being complete anymore. And Trayvon, just 17 when he was killed by George Zimmerman, who was acquitted claiming self-defense, sparking outrage. Trayvon's mother now stands with Mothers of the Movement, women connected by tragedy, fighting racism and gun violence. She says it's now up to the families who've suffered loss to carry the mantle for civil rights. Up next at 5, a busy week ends with one chamber at the Capitol wrapping up work for the entire year. When we come back, Naomi Coles explains why it's likely the Assembly has passed all of the legislation it can until next year. And then coming up at 6, thousands of cross-country skiers return to northern Wisconsin to compete in the annual Berkebiner. We'll tell you how Hayward is celebrating. And on Wall Street, the Dow logs its best day in over a year of 835 points. The Nasdaq adds to Thursday's gains, climbing 221. The S&P jumps 96. We'll be right back. We're U.S. Insulation, and our premium injection foam turns your cold and drafty house into a warm and toasty home. Call now and save $500 on whole home insulation. U.S.A. Insulation. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. 
This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo should probably be called McGann Furniture and Flooring because we're the area's oldest and most experienced floor covering store. Our friendly staff will explain the many types of flooring available, answer questions, and make suggestions so you can choose what's best for your home and lifestyle. We always offer free in-home measurements and estimates and use the finest installers in the entire area. And remember, at McGann, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. At ADP, we understand business today looks nothing like it did yesterday. While it's more unpredictable, its possibilities are endless. From paying your people from anywhere to supporting your talent everywhere. We use data-driven insights to design HR solutions and services to help businesses of all size work smarter today so they can have more success tomorrow. USA Insulation in our premium injection foam turns your cold and drafty house into a warm and toasty home. Call now and save $500 on whole home insulation. USA Insulation. Nearly a month ago, a young man was killed outside Beloit Memorial High School. A suspect has not been arrested. We speak to the victim's mom. And if you plan on sending money to help Ukraine, we have some advice on how to give wisely. It's coming up tonight at 6. Be prepared for winter weather. Trust the First One Weather Team to give you clear, timely, and accurate info, keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Your certified most accurate team. First One Weather, only on News 3 Now. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Busy week at the state capitol wrapped up one chamber's entire work for the year. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss said the assembly is unlikely to go to the floor again, meaning it's essentially passed all of the legislation it will until next year. Naomi Coles joins us with more. Naomi? It's because it's an election year, a similar reason to why lawmakers didn't pass legislation to deal with the, with the COVID pandemic in 2020. A few years ago, they moved the Wisconsin primary up to August, which pushes up other deadlines. So this gives lawmakers most of the year to focus on their campaigns. J.R. Ross with WIS Politics explains there's not much that would bring them back. That there's a veto override that they want to do, but as far as general floor period, like passing bills, that window's pretty much passed for the assembly. Join JR and I this Sunday on For the Record, talking about a chaotic week with three Assembly and one Senate floor sessions, ramming through scores of bills in several last minute high stakes initiatives. Plus, what to expect from Michael Gableman's widely anticipated report, which could come next week. We will see you Sunday. Naomi, thank you. The Friends of San Damiano hosted the 2022 Snow Snake Games today in Monona. Snow Snake is a traditional winter game played by the Great Lakes region tribes on frozen lakes. A snow snake is made from a wooden stick, which is then raced along a snow berm. Whichever snake travels the farthest is the winner. Today's event included prizes, bonfires, storytelling, and hot cocoa and cider. A lot of folks probably dug out a little snow this morning. They're ready to see the end of snow for a while. Here's Dana with the latest. We look at the weekend. This was uh, definitely a good day for some hot apple cider or hot cocoa out there. Right now, things staying pretty quiet on our Doppler track. We aren't expecting anything new to build in as far as light snow overnight or over the next few days. In fact, uh, we're in for quite a dry stretch heading into the end of February and the start of March. We still have a few clouds in the sky. Skies will become mostly clear overnight. Off to the west, some high 
high pressure uh, anchored off keeping things over the next few days generally pretty calm and quiet when that high pressure builds in we tend to see more of a sunny and dry trend and that's really what's setting up for us over the weekend and the start of next week temperatures overnight will cool down to the single digits to start off Saturday right around daybreak near 9 in Dane County a breeze coming in from the southwest that's going to lead to sunny skies in the afternoon and high temperatures in the mid 30s so I'm sure that uh, you tried to get out a little early today dig out the sidewalk just a little bit the good news over the next few days sunshine and warmer temperatures in the afternoon should help clear up any of those icy spots that have been lingering around over the last few days overnight Saturday temperatures yet again cooling down for us down to about 20 for Sunday morning so not quite as cold for overnight lows Sunday afternoon high temperatures will climb up to the mid 30s mid to low 30s notice change in our wind direction coming into the start of next week from the northwest but uh, other than a change in wind direction not seeing much of a change there over the next few days it'll become a bit breezy outside for tomorrow afternoon high temperatures will be in the mid 30s it'll be sunny outside and a little milder than today our temperature trend towards the end of the month really trending above average for southern Wisconsin and the eastern half of the country as we start to move into March though this cooler air trend off to the west builds in and likely pulling us below average once we start to really get into March so that second week of March is what we're looking at there and that does line up with our 10 day we'll see a warm up next week and then a cooler trend expected to build in once we get into the following weekend and, and then the following week sunny skies for Saturday and Sunday high temperatures in the mid 30s for Monday and Tuesday highs will be close to 40 degrees we'll stay there for Wednesday holding on to some sunshine we're still dry sunny and mild on Thursday it's not until Friday late in the day on Friday that our next opportunity for any sort of precipitation builds in right now this looks like a, a mostly rain event it comes through when temperatures are in the 40s overnight lows will likely still only drop to the mid 30s that leads us into temperatures still in the 40s on Saturday so again holding on to rain for that event Friday and into Saturday behind that temperatures start to cool down a little bit more back to the mid to upper 30s we're in for a a mild and and generally quiet stretch for the next few days after a, a bit of a more active week not a bad thing to talk about some sunshine for a little bit as far as traffic is concerned no accidents to report in Dane County right now on the Beltline we are seeing a few slowdown spots both east and west bound for downtown Madison no major delays but uh, the usual points where we start to see a few more brake lights starting to slow down just a little bit University stretching down to Middleton also a bit slower for us this evening looking a little further south into Rock County for downtown Janesville no delays and the interstate north and southbound for Rock County and Dane County uh, all fairly good for us this evening from the Beltline to Janesville about 20 25 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Middleton to Sox City and downtown to Sun Prairie, about 17 minutes for us right now. That's a quick look at traffic. All right, Dana, thank you. With the conflict in Europe and stressors here at home, anxiety can sometimes feel overwhelming. Next at five, some tips on how to keep yourself calm. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Living with metastatic breast cancer means being relentless because every day matters. And having more of them is possible with Fresenio, the only one of its kind proven to help you live significantly longer when taken with Fulvestrant, regardless of menopause status. Fresenio plus Fulvestrant is for HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer that has progressed after hormone therapy. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, call your doctor, start an antidiarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Fresenio, Tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Fresenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you are nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Every day matters, and I want more of them. Ask your doctor about every day for Zenio. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pill after pill that just masks your ED. Fix it for good. We can make the difference. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Deep in credit card debt? 
Did you know Credit Associates can help you reduce that debt? It's not nearly as complicated as you think. Let me show you what I mean. First, there's the total amount of credit card debt you owe. Whoa! We can reduce that by almost half. Second, how about those decades you'll be in debt? We reduce that down to as little as 24 to 36 months, giving you up to 20 debt-free years back. Lastly, how about the endless hours of stress and anxiety from being in debt? We can help reduce that too. It's easy to get started. Call now to see how Credit Associates can reduce your debt and save you thousands. The information is free and there's no risk to call. 1-800-949-3849. Call Credit Associates now to start living better, debt free. 1-800-949-3849. Did you know Masterforce has thousands of tools at Menards? Any tool you want, we have. There are hammers, drills, pliers, levels, wrenches, grinders, sanders, compressors, nailers, workbenches, mowers, blowers, chainsaws, floor jacks, knee pads, work lights, fans. And that's just a taste. Come check out the wide range of products from Masterforce, exclusively at Menards. Watching News 3 Now at 5. With so much going on in Europe and here at home, it's easy for anxiety to make us feel stressed and overwhelmed. Mary Maloney has three tips to help you worry less. Anxiety awakened. With jarring headlines of war abroad and inflation here at home, you may be feeling more anxious and overwhelmed than usual. Many people are stressed out. Many people are feeling anxious. And you are not alone. The less alone we feel, the less intense those emotions can feel. Life coach and health expert Stephanie Manzor has these three tips to help you reduce that heightened anxiety and worry less. Number one, use your senses and sniff your way to serenity. You can either spritz your favorite perfume, or you can use cologne, you can light a candle, you can use essential oils, whatever you can smell that makes you feel relaxed and a little bit more at ease. Number two, when there's a lot going on that's outside of your control or too many thoughts in your mind, Manzor suggests you pause and sip on something warm, like hot tea. Now, why hot tea? Well, when something is hot, we have to slow down. We have to calm down in order to slowly drink the hot beverage and number three turn to your breath try this simple breathing technique that will help you release stress breathe in for four counts hold at the top for four counts and slowly breathe out for another four counts this is going to help your nervous system get more settled and feel more relaxed for today's health minute i'm mary maloney Mansoor also suggests instead of focusing on eliminating the source of the stress, focus on managing your emotions and mindset amidst the stress. A final check of your first warn forecast when we return. It's your last chance to get our very best deals of the season, including door busters up to 65% off. Plus, take bonus holiday discounts off our sale prices in-store and online. And interest-free financing for five years. The biggest President's Day sale in Wisconsin is on now at Ashley. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. I think white teeth are absolute sexy magnets. I love it. The power swabs have really made a huge difference on the entire quality and color of my teeth and I'm very, very happy with them. <laughs> I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth for hot drinks, ice cream, anything hot or cold. Really, really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> It is so fast, it is effective. The great thing about power swabs is that it's just easy to use. To me, it's the best solution for teeth whitening on the market. Introducing Power Swabs, the five minute stain removing and whitening treatment. Apply the step one stain removing cleanser. Use the swab to get in between teeth around edges as the blue cleansing detergent is thin enough to get into pores to release stains. Open swab two, duplicate the process. Instantly see up to a full two shade difference. That's powerful. Forget gooey trays, save a fortune on electronics. Forget slippery strips. Imagine your teeth up to six shades whiter in a week. 
Call or visit us online now and we'll send you the complete power swab system. Seven cleansing swabs, seven power swab foaming whitening swabs. Thanks for celebrating hundreds of thousands of satisfied smiles. We're offering them to you right now for this incredible discount. We'll pay your shipping and handling. If you're not fully satisfied, even after day one, return it for your money back. Laugh more, smile more, enjoy life more. Call right now or go online now and we've been authorized for a limited time to include our on-the-go Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick. It's a $19.95 value, free. With this complete offer, you are saving over 40%. Call or go online now. Brighten your smile and your life now. You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. It's your last chance to save at Furniture and Appliance Mart's President's Day Blowout Sale. Millions of dollars worth of inventory in stock and ready to go. All with no interest financing for 18 months. No one in Wisconsin has appliance offers like these. At Furniture and Appliance Mart inside Ashley of Madison. On this Friday night, an historic day here in Washington. President Biden nominates the first black woman, Judge Ketanji Brown-Jackson, for the U.S. Supreme Court. Plus, there's breaking news on masks, what the CDC is saying tonight about why you may not have to wear that mask anymore indoors. And there's stunning news as European leaders agree to personally punish Vladimir Putin. All that and more coming up on the CBS Evening News. Sunshine for this weekend. High temperatures Saturday and Sunday will be in the mid-30s. For the start of next week, highs close to 40. We're dry all the way until we get into the start of next weekend, Friday and Saturday. Our next chance for rain will build in. All right, Dana, thanks. We're back in 30 minutes for News 3 now at 6. It's a nice shot there. CBS Evening News is next.